डाउनलोड तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो ऐप फ्रॉम गूगल प्ले स्टोर आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग डिवोशनल आध्यात्म से जुड़े at BES Expo 2019 and this is the 25th exposition which is being held a silver jubilee in itself a landmark in itself it is honor and pleasure to introduce mr george kuruvilla the cmd of basil basil is more important because it is the energy it is the driving force not only of the exhibition but also for the manpower that it provides to almost all the broadcasting majors in india and abroad so welcome first 25th anniversary how elated are you yeah we are uh, very happy uh, it is not easy to sustain an event uh, for such a long time and the reason why it is being sustained because uh, we all come from the fraternity of uh, Uh, broadcasting that is from all india radio and doordarshan most of the uh, members are from these two fields and uh, prasar bharti as of today as we know and so therefore it was the officers from all india radio and doordarshan who kept it going and this event actually helped the entire organization and several private um, establishments and uh, channels and uh, which has come later on after the privatization started somewhere towards 92 Uh, thereafter this became for india one of the most important bes expo uh, as one of the most important seminar cum exhibition where the latest technology which is being implemented across the world they are showcased here and through the seminars um, the delegates are able to understand the technology part of it and this has really helped uh, uh, prasar bharti also to upgrade its own system and network and therefore this 25 years have been a great um, learning curve for most of the engineers not only in the government domain but also the entire private industry in the country uh, so i would say uh, do uh, bs and basel look as if they are you know same together to be one entity because uh, the reason was that when it started it was started both of them were started by officers from all india radio and doordarshan so basel was also started uh, with uh, some of the officers joining in on deputation to basel and thereafter it became a separate public sector and uh, started getting uh, officers started getting absorbed like i worked 23 years in uh, doordarshan and all india radio and got absorbed in basel some 6 years back so basel though it is uh, not we cannot purely say that we are organizing because bs has got its own committee to organize the entire thing but basel has been a very um, you can say important uh, participant is a participant in the whole exhibition and basel has been sponsoring the events from time to time and thereby supporting the uh, bs uh, expo every year last year i was also here and i remember you giving a very 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 warm lecture on the digitization and this year we are again next gen broadcasting is the theme what what inspired you to first bring this theme and where wh- what are the finer points that you may like to stress on yeah so um, convergence uh, has become one of the most important things uh, in the present time the convergence of communication broadcasting and it 
now you would realize that you know there was a time when everything was recorded on tapes and the tapes used to be moved from one place to another for playback and recording and uh, the entire system was tape based but as of today it is all now uh, it's you can say that uh, now it has you can say ip based recording is there so the entire workflow of broadcasting has become ip based when we say ip based so naturally it is now it has come into it both in terms of the storage the server the automation softwares that ride on it and the entire workflow has now become digital and therefore it based so broadcasting the convergence so they because of the um, going digital uh, th this has opened up a huge um, uh, area of uh, workflow or working with the media or content and making it available to the various screens and uh, using different devices and converging it together it is all possible now because the entire workflow is it based so it has um, brought uh, or it has uh, given or taken broadcasting into the next level because of the it so now when we are talking about the next generation broadcasting it is in the it, it, it is in the IT domain or IP based and therefore uh, you know it will get converged with the IT world and we'll have so many new ways of uh, disseminating or reaching or distribution or transmission of the content being produced. You had a pioneering years checkered history at as being the engineer in chief when, uh, uh, when you moved to Basel. How has that uh, transition, you must have seen it on the, for, for almost three decades now, how has that transition been? Uh, industry as a general, how that has matured? Now we are almost uh, at par or close to at par with the, what is in the, uh, technology ha available in the Western world. That is right, yeah. So um, as you know, the earlier there used to be always a gap with what is happening across the world and in India. But today, uh, India is moving nearly neck to neck as what is happening outside. So when it comes to recording, when it comes to the uh, production part of it, we are going nearly at the same space or pace at which the world is moving. It's only when it comes to the transmission part of it that uh, when it comes to the terrestrial transmission, then uh, you will have to change the entire network into high definition transmission or you'll have to you know convert it into satellite also uh, the high definition satellite link you know the channel you have to produce now the challenge there is that it is all bandwidth intensive the more you go into high definition or later on to 4k it is um, bandwidth intensive so uh, when you um, take up the transponder space for transmitting your uh, channels uh, if you go to high definition and do Dashan having 20 channels, it will occupy a huge transponder space and, space and therefore the cost uh, increases both in terms of the production as well as the transmission part. So, uh, so still a long way to go as far as the transmission is concerned in the uh, newer technology like the high definition or later on into 4K. But the production wise we are nearly at the same level you can say as the world is moving. Sir, Basel is also the, the human resource energy engine, we can say, of our broadcast industry as a whole. This discussion wouldn't finish without you telling about the Basel. How has that experience, your experience at Basel, and what are the challenges that Basel has in terms of generating the, what you call the manpower, training them? Last year we heard that there was a lot of discussion on training engineers and grooming them. How tough has been the challenge to find the right talent, for the marry the right talent with the right broadcaster? And now you are also saying that Doodarshan News has already gone into uh, high definition. Yes. And that, that is the future. Right. So the manpower, as you rightly said, you know, trained manpower is very important. Even for uh, Doodashan or All India Radio, they have got a huge uh, set of engineers across the country. They need to uh, learn the newer uh, techniques and they need to understand the technology which is moving very fast and which is we can say disruptive in nature it's moving so uh, quickly that earlier you know when we used to shift from one technology to second it used to be nearly 20 years by the time we adopt another technology but now it is becoming as quick as five years down the line the technology changes and the world moves on and uh, Therefore, the importance of uh, training the manpower. So, Basel is uh, playing its own role in providing manpower, trained manpower to various uh, government departments, 
uh, including IGNU and for Raj Sabha also we did the hiring of manpower wherever it is required for various departments, you know, like uh, IGNCA. We provide our, you know, manpower, train manpower to them. So manpower is, um, again, very close to the heart of our Prime Minister, you know, Skill India. He gave us a, a mantra, you know, it's one of the mant important mantras. And so skilling has become uh, one of our focuses and we are now building up a separate vertical to, you know, have on one side, you know, a set of highly skilled resource persons. On other side, we want to be in touch with the industry and including uh, what is happening in the, you know, the, the field, the manpower which is engaged. Uh, most of the time, the manpower which is engaged, you know, they have learned through experience rather than learning through the right, uh, the technological understanding of it. So that is, that gap has to be bridged. And uh, what uh, government is talking about is RPL, that is, you can say, you know, uh, recognition of prior learning. So, yeah. So, uh, this is a for, for forward-looking question, but it is also important because uh, Basil ha broadcast industry as a whole is growing at such a f uh, high pace, almost uh, maximum uh, in the country. Do you think that uh, you'll one day dream of being a mini Ratna company or are looking for that because uh, Basil has to cater to a very big audience all across India and it is a very big country and very vast country and the requirement is ever growing the in the need for broadcasters or broadcast engineers or the technologist or uh, or for the uh, satellite is just amazing uh, un unbelievable it's rising at a very high pace yeah so um, Basil is already a mini Ratna company but it's a, shed a schedule C company so definitely we'd like to go into and become schedule B and schedule A company at later point that's the vision of the company now as we said uh, and today it was talked about is the digitization of the terrestrial transmission that is where we'll have to play a very major role and that will be a huge business and a great work for us when I said you know radio today's analog we have to go digital that means the entire transmitter the the uh, the um, you know the, the the entire transmission chain across the country has to be changed and that will give uh, many more you know new channels made available being you know through digitization so in radio you know there is a huge uh, network available which need to be digitized terrestrial network similarly also tv as uh, tri chairman already announced or said that they have recommended for private participation in digital terrestrial transmission so that is one area where Bessel will be playing a huge role because Bessel is a bridge between the government or let's say Prasabharti and the private world. So right from the time our ministry does an auction of the channels, you know, we come into play as the implementers of uh, those channels with the Prasabharti infrastructure available, especially the towers available across the country. Last and small question, how has been your personal experience dealing with private industry, which means private television channel and the radio, FM radio channel and the community radios, how has been that experience? Are they up and running or are they receptive to your ideas or are they uh, thinking as big as the um, uh, public broadcaster is? Yeah, so um, the private world, especially in radio, um, Bessel has played a very important role because the common infrastructure has been made by us and now we are educating them about the benefits of going digital. And so Bessel is practically uh, really a leading uh, force and, and a guide to both to the in terms of to the ministry making uh, when they make the policy decision and to the private industry, especially as we going digital, to make them understand what are the real advantages of going digital and what is the great possibilities when the digital terrestrial becomes uh, digital. And so also in television now, we are driving and working with the private people which they would need to be participating in the process of uh, taking out channel through auction basis when as and when government comes out with a policy to to make them interested and to participate and to bring out their own channel uh, digital channels in the uh, in the uh, terrestrial space uh, that is one area which have, we have been working and i think in the coming years our responsibility will increase many fold and uh, there'll be lots of activity happening in this direction Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking time from your busy schedule for this uh, inter meeting. Thank you very much.
आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग डिवोशनल आध्यात्म से जुड़े विजन टीवी देख रहे हैं इनका सबको दर्शकों को मैं यही बोलना चाहता हूं कि आगे जो आने वाले हमारे कंपटीशन है मेरे लिए कि ये प्रेयर कीजिए क्योंकि जो आगे वाले काफ़ी हार्ड कंपटीशन टफ हैं तो सभी मेरे लिए कि ये प्रेयर कीजिए कि आगे वाले कंपटीशन है उसमें अच्छा करूं मैं विजन टीवी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डाउनलोड तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो ऐप फ्रॉम गूगल प्ले स्टोर विजन टीवी जितने भी लोग देख रहे हैं ने इन सारे मैं बहुत दिलों मतलब धनवाद करना चाहूँगा मेरे लिए करो दुआ करो कि अगर जी आने वाले कॉम्पीटिशन है ये काफ़ी करिए वजिए करिए अगर वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप है मैं उम्मीद करता कि वो मैं बेस्ट ऑफ सिक्स में आऊँगा तो सभी मेरे लिए करना दुआ करना थैंक यू विजन टीवी You are listening to Taran Devotional Online Radio.